all these revival times, I want to share with you very briefly on this topic. Don't allow anybody to silence your faith. Let your faith keep on speaking. Mutio yote azizinyamazishe imani yako. Imani yako iziri kuongea. Natunge soma katika kitabu cha Mariko mlango wa kumi. Arubaina sita. Ituambia ni kwanini tusinyamazishwe imani yetu. Kwa nini imani yetu iendelee kuongea? Kwa nini tuendelee kupaza sauti? Yesu mwana wa Daudi ni rehemu. Maana ni yeye peke yake anaweza kukurehemu. Kama wengine wameshindwa, ningependa kusema Yesu ni wa rehema. Na rehema zake na fadhili zake ni za milele. Tusema asante bwana Yesu. Mstari wa 46 nasema hivi. Wakafika Jericho. Hata alipokuwa akishuka akishika njia kutoka Jericho pamoja na wanafunzi wake na mkutano mkubwa wa mwana Batimayo Batimayo yule muombaji kipofu alikuwa meketi kando ya njia Unaona akuwa ndani ya ofisi Unaona akuwa akuwa katika boma fulani Huyu Batimayo akwa mahali pale ungesema kwamba yuko saba. Maandike nasema hivi. Wakati Yesu alikuwa anaingia jeri kuna natoka. Hapa wakati nasema kwamba akishika njia kutoka Jericho. Pamoja na wanafunzi wake. Mkutano mkubwa ukamfuata Yesu. Na hapa nasema mwana wa Timayo Batimayo yule muombaji kipofu Ningependa twende pole pole upate imani. Maana imani uja kwa kusikia na kwa kusikia na Mwenyezi Mungu. Jambo la kwanza tunaona kwamba huyu mtu alikuwa na jina. Alikuwa anaitwa Batimayo, mwana wa Timayo. Na wewe sijui wewe ni nani wa nani. Wewe ndio unajijua popote pale ulipo. Wewe ni mwana wa nani? Wewe ni mtoto wa nani? Wewe ni mbali ya nani? Lakini hapa tumesoma kuna mtu anaitwa Batimayo, mwana wa Timayo. Na maandiko nasema jambo la pili alikuwa muombaji. Kiingereza nasema he was a beggar, not a prayer warrior. He was a beggar. Maana kizungu nasema muombaji tunafikiria alikuwa naomba Mungu. Alikuwa naomba pesa. Alikuwa naomba mangotore. Na jambo la tatu maandiko nasema alikuwa kipofu. Kwa hivyo alikuwa haoni chochote. Haoni miti, haoni milima, hata mwenyewe bajioni. Huyo ni mtu naweza kusema kwamba kabisa alikuwa na shida double. Alikuwa na matatizo tena ile kiasili ungemsaidia. Muombaji tena kipofu. Tena jambo lingine maandike nasema hapa alikuwa meketi kando ya barabara. Alikuwa meketi kando ya njia. Kengereme nasema highway. Alikuwa jaka katika barabara za vichochoroni kama huko Ronda, kama huko Kaptembwa, kama huko Vijijini, alikuwa katika barabara kubwa ile tunaita highway. Mahali pale watu wazito walikuwa wanaendesha magari zao, mahali pale watu walikuwa naingia na kutoka, kwa hivyo strategically Batimayo aliwekwa mahali pazuri sana. Mahali alikuwa very invis alikuwa very visible though he could see nothing. Na ndio sababu naweza kuangalia imeandikwa hapa ikusaidie na inisaidie. Usije ukasema positionary well in a worse place than Bartimaeus. My friend, this man was in a terrible situation. He was a beggar, he was blind and also he was sitting at the highway side then says begging. Na hivyo ndivyo maisha yake alikuwa. Na jambo lingine ukisoma juu ya Bartimaeus alikuwa na vazi la kuomba vazi lile la vipofu hiyo vazi ilikuwa very visible ilikuwa na madoa doa sasa akiwa hapa amewekwa wanajua ni kipofu yuko hapo tena ni muombaji lakini sikiliza mambo ubadilika Yesu akipita njia yako nasema mambo ubadilika Yesu akipita njia yako haijalishi wamekuweka wapi Yesu anapita njia yako haijalishi wewe ni kipofu namna gani Yesu anapita njia yako I jealous how you are a beggar. Jesus is passing your way. 
Sasa itategemea your faith. Itategemea imani yako sasa sio imani ya Yesu. Already Jesus has been anointed and is going everywhere doing good. God is with Jesus doing everything possible to help humanity. Now ameingia Jericho na sasa anatoka. Na unajua maandiko yanasema huyo Batimayo na yeye aliposikia kwamba ni Yesu wa Nazareth anipita. Na ndio sababu sasa uzuri wa Batimayo alikuwa na masikio. Uzuri wa Batimayo ni kwamba ingawa alikuwa na macho, ingawa alikuwa muombaji, lakini alikuwa ana masikio. Na unajua imani huja kwa kusikia na kwa kusikiana na Mwenyezi Mungu. Maandiko yanasema alipokuwa amekaa mahali pale, anaombaomba, anajisikitikia, haoni baraka zikija, haoni magari, haoni manyumba, haoni chochote. Maandiko yanasema akasikia habari za Yesu. Sema akasikia habari za Yesu. Na unaposikia habari za Yesu, je, utafanya nini? Na ndio sababu in life wewe yamua kilo nataka. Mungu hawezi ukunyima kama kabisa una imani. Kama kabisa umeamua kubarikiwa atakubariki. Kama umeamua kabisa kuona ushindi utauona. Kama umeamua kwenda mbali tena juu with God nothing is impossible if you dare to exercise your faith. Unajua tunazumuza juu ya imani. Pasipo imani haiwezekani kumpendeza Mwenyezi Mungu. Nataka nisikuwesema tena faith has no partiality. Faith haina ubaguzi. Nataka nikwambia kipata kwa mweusi atamsaidia. Akiipata kwa muindi atamsaidia. Akiipata kwa mkamba atamsaidia. Aliipata kwa mkisi huyu akamsaidia. Imani ukiwa nayo popote palo lipo ikimpendeza Jehova hautakata same position again. Your promotion is coming. Your blessing is coming. Very soon utaanza kuona mambo jabai kuona in your life and I want to assure you are going to see it in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Tunazumuza juu ya jina liko juu ya majina yote. Kwa hilo jina vipofu wanaona. Kwa hilo jina viwete wanatembea. Kwa hilo jina waenda wazimu wanafunguliba. Kwa hilo jina baba na jibu maombi. Kwa hilo jina tunaokolewa nalo. Hilo ndilo jina liko juu ya magonjwa yote. Liko juu zaidi ya hali zote. Yesu mwana wa mungu. Hapa kasikia Yesu mwana wa daudi wa nazareti anapita. Sasa ni sasa ni yeye amue. Na naamini kwamba alisikia huyo Yesu kazi yake ni kuponya magonjwa. Alijua huyo Yesu kazi yake ni kuhubiria maskini habari njema. Anahubiria wala wamefungwa kufunguliwa kwao. Alijua kwamba Yesu kazi yake ni kufungua vipofu macho. Sasa ilikuwa ni yeye asikue usukani wake, achukue hatua ya imani apate muujiza wake. And I want to assure you your miracle is in your mouth. If you dare to open your mouth and call upon the name of Jesus, a miracle will happen. Salvation will happen. Healing will come forth in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Na maandiko yanasemaje hapa? Naye aliposikia ya kwamba ni Yesu wa Nazareth, alianza kupasa sauti. Na wewe wacha imani yako ionge. Nasema juu ya imani yako juu ya Yesu. Tunazumuza juu ya kilo umeamua kupata, ufungue mdomo na uite Yesu utakipata. Kile umeamua kuwa katika maisha kilicho bora na utoke mahali pale umefungwa, uoni baraka zikija, uoni ushindi ukija, wewe ni mtu wa usumbufu, wa tabu na shida, ni kama umelaaniwa, umegongomelewa hapo na msimari wa shetani, anakuambia utaona, anakuambia utasimama, anakuambia utabadilika, nataka nikuambie leo neno la Mungu likipita, huyo ni Yesu anapita, exercise your faith, let your faith speak and a miracle will happen. Maandike nasema akaanza kupaza sauti. Na ndio sawa nimesema katika maisha, hakuna kitu napata kwa Mungu mpaka uombe. Maandike nasema omba na utapata. Maandike nasema tafuta na utaona. Maandike nasema bisha na utafunguliba. I remember 1972 nilipokoka mwaka wa kwanza baadaye kwenda mbele nilihitaji kubatizwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Niliona nikipawa kizuri sana. Niliona watu wanafurahi, wanapiga ndimi, wanatabiri, wanatafsiri, wanafanya mambo mazuri na mimi nikataka hiyo. Nikafikiria ina piano na watu. 
baadaye nikasoma maandiko katika luka kumna moja inaosema hivi kama nyinyi wa baba wabaya mnajua kupatia watoto wenu vipawa vizuri je baba wenu wa mbinguni hata wapatia roho mtakatifu kwa wale wanaomuomba na nikasoma hiyo kabisa na nikaiamini na nikapiga magoti vile ninavyokuambia leo maana niliamini Mungu hawezi kusema uongo baadaye nikapiga magoti nikamwambia Mungu nataka unijaze na Roho Mtakatifu niliomba kabisa na nikaamini nasema niliomba na nikaamini sio kujazwa dakika hiyo baadaye nikaja kanisani kesho yake Jumapili nikakaa kwa ibada vile umekaa na vile unanisikiza nilikuwa sio mwinjilisti nilikuwa sio pasta nilikuwa kijana tu ameogoka majuzi tena mbichi hajui kuomba vizuri hajui kuimba vizuri lakini na imani ya msalaba na nimemwambia Yesu baba nijaze katika jina la Yesu na yule alikuwa na ubiri siku ya kuwa pasta yule alikuwa na ubiri siku ya alikuwa ni kijana mmoja anaitwa kijana wa viongozi wa kanisa akasimama akaanza kuhubiri na alikuwa ubiri juu ya Roho Mtakatifu alikuwa na ubiri subject nyingine kufika katikati nikanyesheba na mvua ya binguni kufika katikati nikasikia hua nikajazwa nikaanza kunena lugha na ndio sababu na kuambia leo ukiwa nahitaji lolote kwa kila jambo kuomba na kusali fanya mahitaji yako yote yajulikane kwa Mwenyezi Mungu nilimwambia baba nataka kujazwa na nataka nikwambia linijaza tena nikafurika today is a god of miracles in your life something will happen to you if you dare to pray unaona hapa batima ya kuombeba aliomba mimi ni si kuombea wa nijazo roho mtakatifu even though people pray for people and they are baptized into the holy spirit but i prayed personally i took god by his word luke chapter 11 and god did exactly what he said of course i believed maana na leva mambo yote inawezekana i say mambo mbili tatu mambo yote Ukianza kueleva mambo yote inawezekana wa ndugu na badada hautakana shida hautakana magonjwa hautakani kama umelaaniwa hautakani kama shetani kazi yako na kutembelea kama ni anko yako utakataa maana utajua kwamba wewe ni mtoto wa Jehova na Yesu alimwaga damu yake msalabani kwa ajili yako wacha turudi kwa batimayo alianza kupasa sauti na wewe vocalize your faith nasema pasa sauti pasa sauti ya imani yako Ambia Bwana kile unataka. Ambia Mungu unahitaji mabadiliko. Ambia Bwana unahitaji kuinuka. Ambia Bwana unataka kuona. Maandike nasema kapaza sauti yaka akisema nini? Yesu mwana wa Daudi ni rehemu. Hakufundishwa kuomba, aliomba moyo wake. Na wewe omba from the bottom of your heart. God will give you the desires of your heart. The Bible says trust in the Lord and do good and you shall dwell in the land and surely you shall be fed and God will meet you at the point of your needs. Mungu anajua kile unahitaji lakini lazima umwambie kwa sala na kwa maombi. Na ningependa kusema Jesus came for you to become the best. Jesus came to give you the best from the Father because the Bible says every good and perfect gift comes down from the father of lights and i want to assure you through jesus you can receive that gift na sijui unahitaji kipawa gani kama ni roho mtakatifu ni kipawa kama ni uzima milele ni kipawa kama ni wokovu ni kipawa even healing is a gift from god and the desire you have today god will meet you at the point of your very need that is why it is written here don't allow anybody to silence your faith may your faith recover all May your faith make you the best. May your faith make you achieve the unachievable. And I want to assure you it is possible in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Hilo ndilo jina Petro alitumia na Yohana katika mlango mzuri wakapata kiwete hapo alikuwa amekaa hapo na yeye anaomba kila siku analetwa asubuhi paka jioni na siku moja siku ikafika ya Yesu na wewe siku ya Yesu na wewe imefika. Na baadaye Petro na Yohana wakamtazama, wakamwambia tutazame sisi, fedha na dhabu hatuna, lakini kile tulicho nacho tunakupa. Katika jina la Yesu wa Nazareti, simama na utembee. Maandike na sema wakamshika mkono, wakamuinua, nguvu zikamuingia, 
akaruka juu na akatembea na akaruka ruka hilo ndilo jina litakutoa chini hilo ndilo jina litakutoa kwa majanga hilo ndilo jina litakutoa kwa malaana hilo ndilo jina litabatoa kwa ufukara na hilo jina linaweza kuinua hilo jina linaweza kupeana nguvu za kufaulu katika maisha I want to say the name of Jesus has power to make you achieve anything you want under the sun. The name of Jesus no silver and gold. The name which is above every name. Unajua maandiko yanaposema hivyo God means exactly what he says. Na ndio sababu unapata watu hawajui jina, wanangangana. Watu hawajui jina, wanapigana na hali fulani. Watu hawajui jina, wako wamekaa tu wanangoja anything can happen. Hapana. Once you hear the name of Jesus do something about it. I say do something about it. I say do something about your situation. I say do something about your family. I say do something about your diseases. I say do something upon the curses which have been put upon your life. The moment you name shown the name of Jesus the devil must go. Sicknesses must go. The blind must see. The cripples must walk. That is the name which is above every at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow. And that is why it's important for us to vocalize that name, to shout that name and to say Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. Na unajua maandiko yanasema alipopasa sauti hivyo maandiko yanasema watu wakaanza kumnyamazisha Watu wakaanza kumkemea. Maandiko yanasema wakamkemea ile nyamaze. Lakini imani ya kweli haichukui no for an answer. I say genuine faith from the bottom of your heart will never be silenced. Will never take no as an answer. Maandiko yanasema ajae kwa Mungu, amini kwamba Mungu yuko. Jambo la pili, amini kwamba napeana thawabu. Kwa wale wanaomtafuta kwa bidii I believe but my had the same spirit earnestly seeking the Lord and God is not going to ignore you today if you genuinely from the bottom of your heart you call upon the name of the Lord in any situation he will stand for you I say he will stand for you I say he will stop and something will take place a miracle will take place Maandiko yanasema wakamkemea anyamaze lakini maandiko yanasema akazidi kupaza sauti zaidi na wewe usikubali imani yako inyamazishwe nasema hapana kubali oh bishop wamenikemea wacha wakukemee na wewe endelee kupaza sauti wakisema nyamaza ongeza volume nasema ongeza volume nasema ongeza volume usipoongeza wewe ndio unashindwa usipoongeza wewe ndio utachekeleba walipomwambia nyamaza shut up wewe ni kipofu chukua shilingi kumi akasema tupa hapo Yesu mwana wa Daudi ni rehemu opportunity comes in life once ekipita you may not get it i say opportunity comes once my friend i know what i am saying baraka zinaweza kupita mbele yako ushindwe kuzishika na zilikuwa zako na Mungu ametuma baraka kwako badala ushike wewe unaanza kulilia watu hapa huyu Batimayo alikataa akasema imani yangu ni kwa Yesu nataka rehema za Bwana and I want you today to call upon the mercies of the Lord and I want to say the mercies of the Lord endure forever and they are new every morning even right now if you dare to call upon the mercies of the Lord you will see it Ubaya ni kwamba watu wanaita na mdomo lakini deep inside the heart they, they don't really mean it. Kitu Mungu anaona ni faith. Kitu Mungu anaona ni imani kutoka ndani. Maandiko yanasema akazidi kumkemea ili anyamaze lakini alizidi kupaza sauti. Mwana wa Daudi ni rehemu. Na ningependa niseme hivi. Yesu alikuwa anajua Batimayo yuko hapo. Na Yesu anajua uko hapo. Yesu alikuwa anajua Batimayo anaita rehema zake. Na wewe Mungu anajua unataka rehema zake, lakini nategemea your persistence faith. Omba bila kukoma. Maandiko yanasema 
Elijah alikuwa ni mtu kama sisi lakini aliomba aliomba kwa bidii mvua isinyeshe na ikunyesha tena akaomba kwa bidii inyeshe na ikanyesha bingu ziko tayari kukuitikia bingu ziko tayari zikumwagie baraka mpaka ukose mali pa kuweka nasema bingu ziko tayari kuachilia mfereji ufurike mpaka useme god it is enough and i want to say god is a god who is more than enough and once he gives you he gives you without measure Ndio sababu timai ameelewa amepata nafasi ya kubarikiwa amepata nafasi ya kuona baraka amepata nafasi anaweza kutoka mahali pa umaskini pa kulaaniwa mahali pa upofu na asimame aanza new chapter in his life na alikuwa anajua ni moja tu anaweza kubadilisha historia yake ni moja tu anaweza kumtoa kwa upofu na sio mwingine ni bwana Yesu na wewe Yesu akusaidie katika kazi ya Mungu kama unahitaji msaada kwa kama batimayo hangeweza kunyamazishwa my friend na Yesu alipona imani yake sema Yesu alipona imani yake maana alikuwa anasikia anaambiwa shut up nyamaza shut up nyamaza na anasikia volume ya batimayo inazidi kuongezeka akasema this man is determined to get an answer and you be determined to get an answer from god i say be determined in your heart Yesu alisikia akasema mzee hakati tamaa ananyamazishwa lakini anaongeza volume maandike nasema na Yesu akasimama imara and Jesus will stand still for you Amen. the bible says and Jesus stood still the way Joshua spoke to the sun the way Joshua spoke to the moon stand still there stand still there and the bible says hakuna wakati mungu alisikia mwanadamu kama wakati huo jua alikasimama mwezi kasimama paka joshua akapigana vita na wakashinda victory is yours if you exercise your faith nasema ushindi huko kabisa ndani ya yesu we are not losers ndani ya yesu we are going to make it ndani ya yesu there is an answer and I want to say today Jesus stood still for him. Na maandike nasema akaitana akasema muite aje hapa. Wapendo sikiliza. Yesu akikuita anakuitia baraka. Yesu akikuita anakuitia ushindi. Yesu akikuita anakuishia anakuitia kuona. Yesu akasema muite hapa. Hata wale walikuwa wanamwambia Sharab wakabadilisha chorus wakasema jipe moyo anakuita hivyo ndivyo nasema hapa Yesu akasimama akasema muiteni wakamuita yule kipofu wakamwambia jipe moyo na mimi nakwambia jipe moyo nasema jipe moyo nasema jipe moyo cheer up i like these people though they were telling him shut up now they are saying cheer up <laughs> sasa na mimi nakwambia shangilia Jipe moyo. Yesu anakuita. Jipe moyo. Unaenda kubarikiwa. Jipe moyo. Unaenda kupona. Jipe moyo. Ile nyumba utajenga. Jipe moyo. Ile gari uta drive. Jipe moyo. Ile mlango itafunguliwa. Nataka niseme tena jipe moyo. Utashinda. Nasema jipe moyo. Imeandikwa hapa itusaidie jipe moyo mama. Umeomba vya kutosha, umelia vya kutosha, jipe moyo. Ndugu umeomba vya kutosha, sasa imefika wakati Yesu anasema muite hapa na kuambia leo Yesu akikuita jipe moyo. Mambo yako inaenda kubadilika. Mavazi yako inaenda kubadilika. Maono yako inaenda kubadilika. Hisia zako zinaenda kubadilika. Jipe moyo. Na unajua alipoambia jipe moyo alikuwa anajua sasa mabadiliko ndio hayo It is only Jesus who can bring change in your family It's only Jesus who can bring change in your life It is only Jesus who can bring change in your lifestyle in your character Maandike nasema lile vazi la upofu akalitoa na wewe kuna mambo lazima uache nyuma Kuna mambo lazima utupe Maandike nasema mtu akiwa ndani ya Kristo Yesu ni kiumbe kipya. Ya zamani yamepita. Sema ya zamani yamepita. Sema tena. Maandike nasema akaambiwa jipe moyo. Inuka. 
anakuita nami nakwambia jipe moyo inuka anakuita na unajua nimesema hakuiti mabaya anakuitia mazuri anakuitia mwelekeo na mwongozo mzuri katika maisha inuka jipe moyo anakuita Batimaya alifanya nini maandike nasema akatupa vazi lake na wewe tupa wasiwasi na wewe tupa roho ya hofu ile hali imekushikilia tupa roho ya umaskini tupa roho ya bega tupa ile vazi walikupatia kwamba you will never change you will never be anything tupa na kuambia tupa simunisaidie kusema tupa sio ngumu kusema tupa can we say amen kuna mambo wanasema kuwe na mwezi kuendelea tupa nasema tupa eh they don't have your destiny they are not the determining factor jesus as your answer jesus has your miracle jesus is turning things around for you and i want to say jesus wants to make you the best jesus wants to give you every good and perfect gift akatoa vazi akatupa there are things in life you don't need them what you need it is jesus kuna watu in life you don't need them throw them out You need Jesus. Na sema kuna watu in your life you cannot come to Jesus with them. Kuna vitu in your life lazima utupe ile mazoea, ile tabia, toa tupa. Sema ninakuja kwa Yesu kwa maisha mapya. When you are before Jesus anything can happen. When you are for before Jesus you can see everything anything you need. When you are before Jesus you are before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Kwa hivyo sikio nakwambia tupa hofu tupa kila kitu anakuambia iwezekani tupa maana sasa yote inawezekana na maana nyingine nasema alipotupa vazi lake akaruka akaruka nami huyo ndio mtu nataka niwe karibu na yeye hata nikimpata nitamuuliza ulirukaje uliruka kwenda wapi faith will always guide you faith will always show you the way Unaona akushikwa mkono. Aliambia changamka, anakuita, akatupa vazi na baadaye akaruka juu. Nataka nikwambie ukiruka juu utajipata huko. Nasema rusha imani yako. Nasema rusha imani yako. Nasema rusha imani yako. Rusha imani yako. Akaruka juu. Sema akaruka juu. Hakumwendea Mathayo. Hakumwendea Petro. Hakumwendea Yohana, hakumwendea Simon, alimwendea Yesu. Alimwendea nani? Yes. Kitu cha ajabu, this man was blind. How did he know this was Jesus? Kwa nini akwenda kwa Petro? Kwa nini akwenda kwa Mathayo? Kwa nini yako papa papa kila mtu wewe ni nani? Wewe ni nani? Wewe ni nani? Oh mimi ni Mathayo kutoka. Wewe ni nani? Wewe ni nani? Hako askari wa kufanya inspection watu. Batimaya alikuwa amechoka na maisha ya upofu amechoka na maisha ya kuonewa amechoka na maisha ya kuombaomba sasa akutaka tena kuchoka kuinspect watu wewe ni nani niambie wewe ni mtume wewe ndio mathawe hebu niendelepeleke kwa Yesu hapana hakuja kwa Yohana kumwambia wewe ni nani mimi ni Yohana nipeleke kwa Yesu hapana your faith will take you directly to the answer and Jesus is your answer and i believe that one will make you excited maana ukija kwa waubiri they can disappoint you sometimes hata utajiita apostle prophets akidikon majina yote lakini ulikuwa naita nani si huyu alikuwa naita Yesu mwana wa Daudi ni rehemu nani alimuitikia ni Yesu sio Mathayo sio Petro sio Johana sio Philip sio Thomas ni Yesu alimuitikia ni Yesu alimuita na wewe Yesu akikuita maandike nasema kondoo zangu usikia na ujua sauti yangu hii ni kondoo ilikuwa najua ni Yesu naenda aliporuka alienda kwa Yesu sema alienda kwa Yesu na wewe kuja kwa Yesu upone na wewe kuja kwa Yesu barikiwe na wewe kuja kwa Yesu kila ungekuwa utakuwa nataka kusema kuja kwa Yesu mahali ungefika utafika akaja kwa Yesu na alipofika kwa Yesu Yesu akamuuliza swali ni kufanyie nini lazima ifike imani yako iongee 
Ya kwanza alikuwa anataka rehema. Sasa amefika kwa mwenye rehema. Mwenye rehema namuuliza, what do you want me to do for you? This was an opportunity ya maisha. This was a lifetime opportunity. And that's why when you go to you get opportunity to hear the word of God, you better respond quickly that minute. You may not find another opportunity, my friend. That's very true. Unataka nikufanyie nini? Lazima imani yako iongee. Maandike nasema yule kipofu akamwambia mwalimu wangu nataka nipate kuona sio maombi marefu short to the point you confess your need before jesus kama yule mwenye ukoma alisema bwana ukitaka unaweza kunitakasa kama wale twofu wawili walipoingia Yesu akawauliza mnaamini aweza kutenda hiyo asema ndio bwana tunaamini hivyo ndivyo Mungu anafanya kazi na hajawacha kubariki watu wake na hajawacha kuponya watu wake hajawacha kurehemu watu wake hajawacha kuinua watu wake ubaya ni kwamba watu wengi hawamuini amuiti na moyo kutoka ndani wanamuita na mdomo lakini mioyo iko mbali na yeye Wando mmeita mpaka kichwa inakuuma. Unaita mpaka unasema he leta maji hapo tukunywe. Lakini imani ni kutoka ndani ya moyo. Imani haiongei mara mbili, mara moja. Unataka nikufanyie nini? Akasema Bwana, nataka kuona. Yesu akamwambia, sema Yesu akamwambia. Unajua Yesu anazungumzia watu anaozungumza pia. That is why but my was talking to Jesus Jesus asks my question he answers it and he tells Jesus his needs then Jesus answered and said unto him go your way enenda zako hiyo sio kufukuza anamwambia sasa enda furahia maisha sasa anamwambia enda uone kilo jawai kuona anamwambia enenda zako sasa maana yake usirudi mahali pale ulikuwa na ningependa kusema hivi ukikutana na Yesu uendi mahali pale ulikuwa nakaa ile kanyumba ulikuwa nakaa Mungu anaanza kukubalishia mawazo. Yaani unaanza kuwa na faith nyingine ya ajabu. Can we say amen? Anakuambia nenda zako sasa unaweza kuona vizuri. Unaweza kuona baraka zikija. Maandike nasema huyu mtu akaambia nenda zako imani yako imekuponya. Remember without faith we cannot please God. Remember faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Jesus has given the blind man the word of faith. Go your way. Be it done unto you according to how you have believed. So the man believed and the Bible says Mara akapata kuona akamfuata Yesu njiani. Mara haichukui muda mrefu kubadilika. Haichukui muda mrefu kupona. Haichukui muda mrefu Mungu akijibu maombi people will start to see a change in your life a change in your family when God answers prayers vumbi ameondoa analeta baraka analeta pumzi mzuri analeta hewa mzuri tuambie si Yesu asante bwana Yesu mwambie Yesu asante bwana Yesu mwambie yeye sio mimi unaambia ni Yesu naambia ndugu na damu popote pale ulipo kabisa kuna watu wamejaribu kusaidia lakini imesindikana. Leo Yesu anaweza mambo yote. Leo Yesu anatembea mahali hapa. Leo Yesu angependa kusaidie. Leo Yesu angependa kuponye. Leo Yesu angependa kuinue. Leo Yesu angependa kutoa chini na kuleta juu. Leo Yesu angependa fungue macho ya ufamu wako, upate kuelewa juu ya utajiri na heshima ile Kristo ametupatia kupitia kwa msalaba. Badala ya kwenda njia yake, alifuata Yesu njiani. And that is why leo kuna mambo Mungu anataka uwache nyuma. Kuna mambo Mungu anataka uambie bye bye. Magonjwa bye bye. Malaana bye bye. Chochote kile kimekuweka katika barabara ya shida kiambie kwa heri. Maana Jesus is going to open a new chapter. Katika Biblia katika mambo ya nyakati ya kwanza ina tisa. Maandike nasema katika nyumba moja kulikuwa na kijana alikuwa anaitwa Jabesi. 
Mama yake alimuzaa na shida na uchungu. Alipomuzaa akasema aitwe jina Jabez, nimemuzaa na uchungu. Na akaitwa mwana wa uzuni. Na ikawa hivyo miaka kuja, miaka kwenda. Lakini kafika mahali Jabez akakataa kuitwa mwana wa uzuni. Lazima ifike in life ukatae maisha ya aibu. Lazima ifike in life ukatae maisha ya uzuni. Lazima ifike in life ukatae maisha ya chini ni wewe ukatae. Sema ni mimi nikatae. Usiwekwe mahali pale na kupangwa. Wacha neno la Mungu likupange. Nasema wacha neno la Mungu likupange. Wacha Calvary kupange. Na najua Yesu anajua. Yeyote aliyekuja kwake alibadilika. Yeyote aliyekuja kwake alipata mwelekeo na mwongozo na usikize maandike nasema Jabes akamuita Mungu wa Israeli alielewa ya Israeli ni nani alikuwa anaitwa Yakobo na Yakobo alipata mabadiliko alipomuita Mungu wa Ibrahimu na Isaka your life can change if you call upon the right god Jesus is god Jabes akaita na akamwambia Mungu wa Israeli ungenibariki tena sana be specific in your prayers. Be focused, be direct. Don't be beat around the bush. Mwambie kile unahitaji. Batimaya anasema, Bwana nataka kuona, na kila alitaka kilitendeka. Batimaya anasema, unibariki tena sana. Baadaye akaenda mbele kidogo, akamwambia panua mipaka yangu. Baadaye akaenda mbele kidogo, akamwambia, usikubali chochote kinihuzunishe. Baadaye kaenda mbele kidogo akasema na mkono wako uwe juu yangu. Double blessings. You can ask as many things as you want at the same time. <laughs> Inategemea what is been bothering you. Batimaye ilikuwa ni upofu. Lakini Jabez alikuwa amechoka, anataka mipaka ipanuke. Alikuwa amechoka, anataka barikiwe tena sana. Alikuwa amechoka kuitwa muone watu wa uzuni. Tena alikuwa anataka mkono wa Mungu wetu yake. Maandike nasema chochote kile jabe aliyomba, Mungu alimutendea. Kutoka mbele za Bwana akaitwa Mheshimiwa jabe. Unaweza kuheshimiwa leo. Nasema unaweza kuwa mheshimiwa leo. Watoto wako wanaweza kuwa waheshimiwa leo. Nataka ni kuambia when God is on your side you are more than an honorable. When you call upon the name of the Lord, heaven will respond. And when heaven responds, God will be honored in your life. Jabe sakao mheshimiwa. Ndugu zake wakamuita mheshimiwa? Hakuna uzuni tena. When you meet the God of heaven, your life will never mark time again. Hautasimama position moja unajulikana kama mtu wa tabu na shida hauna mbele na nyuma unakuamuliwa then god gives you the direction of prosperity and of good success i want to assure you your best life is ahead of you daudi akasema i have said the lord always before me i shall not be moved he is my shield and my son he is my shield and my buckler once you set the Lord always before you, wherever you are heading to, your life will be brighter and brighter up to that perfect day. Remember, Jesus is the light of the world. Whosoever cometh to him shall find the light of life. We'll no longer walk in darkness. In the light, you can see things clearly. In the light, you can see your blessings coming. Wanda Job alisema mjue Mungu wako sana ili mema ikujie. Daniel akasema wanaomjua Mungu wao watakuwa hodari na watafanya maajabu. Ukiwa na Mungu una kila kitu. Ukiwa na Mungu una baraka zote. Wewe ni zaidi ya mshindi kupitia kwake yule aliyekupenda. Mungu ametupatia roho mtakatifu. Atupatie nguvu kutoka ndani. Na leo Mungu angependa akubariki akuinue akutoe point A to point B akutoe ile vazi la aibu akutoe ile vazi la kuonewa haleluya na kuvalishi na utukufu wake ungempata batimayo baadaye alikuwa na utukufu wa ajabu tena namfuata Yesu njiani sasa anafuata baraka anafuata ushindi anafuata hatima yake 
Ungempata after two, three, four years, he was somewhere very high. Well qualified with the Christ taught right. Yula liye mualimu wakamfundisha vizuri juya life. Life is not about sitting somewhere on the roadside of life. Life is not about sitting somewhere and becoming a beggar, somebody who is worthless. Jesus came to make us worthy. And I want to say again, Jesus came to make us worthy. The blood of Jesus is there to make you worthy. The Bible says, Peter Nasema, to make na damu ya damana. Damu ya damana, the precious blood of Jesus. Not with corruptible things like silver and gold, but with incorruptible blood of Jesus. So once you have been bought with this kind of blood, it makes you precious. Can we say amen? amen. If you are ready for your miracle, stand up wherever you are. It is you and God now. Kila moja chukua nafasi mbele za mungu. Onajua ni vizuri kwa pate wa tutuwa mungu wa zumuza na yesu wao. Mshukuru tu muambie kwa mema yale yugu tayari kukutende ya. We thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. Asante Bwana Yesu. Asante Mfalme. Kwa kila jambo kuomba na kusali. Fanya maitajia kwa yajulikana kwa mungu. Tumealikuwa na Yesu. Tuombe baba jambo lolote. Katika jina la Yesu baba takutendea. Ili fraya kwa itimie. Just tell him exactly what you need. He will give it to you in Jesus name. Just tell him exactly. And God will give it to you.